I'm tired of everyone being afraid to make an omelette. After this guide, I'll have you sing Omelette du Fromage. Okay, so today we are making omelets. Not just any omelets, we're making omelets three different ways. We have a country style omelet, a traditional French omelet with ooey gooey inside, and last but not least, a special mystery omelet that I make that I talked about uh, a long time ago. I will discuss that later. But the point is, this is all about technique, attention to detail, and not being so scaredy wearedy little pants. Oh, I'm so scared. Shut up, you can do this. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? Here's something interesting. An omelet is pretty much always the exact same ingredient every time you make one, but the technique is what classifies it. Now let us begin with what would be classified as a country style omelet. Yes, with color. First begin with a medium sized bowl, crack four eggs into that bowl, and also please get into the habit of cracking on a flat surface instead of the edge of your bowl unless you enjoy shell in your eggs. And if you do, seek help. Give your eggs a little tickle, then season a taste with salt. Yes, season your eggs before cooking. It helps denature their protein intentionally. And of course, some fresh cracked black pepper. Optionally, you can add a small splash of heavy cream. Then in a 10 inch nonstick pan, add two tablespoons or 28 grams of unsalted butter. Heat that over medium heat. And as soon as the butter is fully melted and bubbling, whisk your eggs together until thoroughly combined and homogenized. Probably you should have done that before. And then pour your eggs into the pan. Now let that cook. And as soon as you see the edges begin to set, which will happen after just a few seconds, pull them towards the center all around the perimeter of the omelet. Then again, pull them towards the center, let them cook, pull to the center, cook, pull to the center. You see where we're going with this? And you're going to repeat this process until most of the egg is cooked. Now when it starts to get close, you'll have to tilt your pan into the direction of the pull to get the eggs to pool on that side. And once the eggs for the most part are set and they won't pull up anymore, add any cheese of your choice, this is shredded aged cheddar, onto one half of the omelet, then fold the uncovered half over. And optionally, you can add an additional tablespoon of butter, tilt your pan, and let the butter fill and toast the underside of your omelet until lightly brown about 20 to 30 seconds. Then immediately grab a plate and while holding your pan underhanded, invert the pan onto your plate to get your beautifully browned country style omelet out. And the rest is simple. Grab your eating utensils, cut yourself a slice and slide it into your mouth. Okay, so look at this. This is a country omelet. A lot of people are like, Josh, the omelet's overcooked. No, no, it's not. You're supposed to cook the eggs almost all the way through on a country omelet. Don't talk to me if you don't know that. You can see that it's nice and moisturized in here. Look at that. If it don't do that, I don't want it. God damn. This is good. The eggs are delicate, it's buttery, it's rich. There's a tiny little bit of springiness in the eggs, but in a good way. I mean, it's everything you want. And this nice little bit of browning on the egg sort of creates a whippy skin that has like a little bit of, you know, that Maillard reaction flavor that we all know and love. If you like crispy eggs when you make fried eggs, this is your omelet. Now, we've gotten this out of the way. Next up is a French. Okay, the next one is the omelet that many wish they could do properly, and I think they can. Just takes a little practice. So here we go. Start off with a medium-sized bowl, crack in four whole eggs, season them to taste with salt to denature its protein, and well, season it. Know your eggs won't go watery, so please relax, internet culinary frickin' dweebs. Anyway, whisk together till fully homogenized. I want no egg whites floating around in there. Then heat a non-stick 10-inch pan over medium heat, add about one and a half to two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and as soon as it's nearly fully melted, but not bubbling violently or ultra hot, pour in your eggs and as soon as those eggs touch that pan immediately begin stirring with either wooden chopsticks or a rubber spatula i personally prefer the spatula because it covers more surface area but you know whatever now you're going to constantly stir on the heat and as soon as some tiny curds begin to form take it off the heat for a few seconds but keep stirring then return to the heat and repeat this process a couple of times constant stirring on and off the heat and this will take about two to three minutes and as soon as your eggs stop being super runny and look more like a very soft scramble immediately reduce your heat to low bring your eggs to the front of the pan by tapping and lightly scraping leaving a thin layer of egg along the rest of the pan. Is this making sense? I usually do this by feel, people. Anyway, at this point, you can add your cheese. I got a beautiful piece of ooh yeah, which I grated and added a generous handful. Now using your spatula, gently roll the part of the omelet that's closest to you all the way down until it meets with that soft scramble. Then loosen the edges of the other side, tuck everything together nicely so it encases your soft scramble, and quickly but gently invert onto a plate. I mean, look at that. It's like kind of like a, I don't know, like a forbidden banana. Then simply hit it with some fresh sliced chives, a nice crack of black pepper, and maybe some black truffle, except it kept sliding off, so never mind, I guess. We gotta see that cross section. Slice it in half, and let's see our masterpiece. Now that's a proper French omelet. It looks absolutely Absolutely boisin, if I do say so myself. Now let us taste test. 
That's the kind of energy we're going at this French omelet. Uh, a traditional French omelet is no color, smooth exterior. The inside is luscious, juicy, loosey goosey, soft scrambled eggs. It's not undercooked, it's not raw. Okay, it's fully cooked. It's like the Gordon Ramsay soft scramble with inside of an omelet. Yeah, it's real juicy. That is a traditional French omelet. This is the kind of thing that you hear about, the famous story of the chef saying, you want to work for me, you must first cook a French omelet. And if you don't, then get a fork right in the behind. Mm -hmm. This takes practice. Not everybody's gonna be able to do it very easily, and it's very dependent on how nonstick your pan is. So please make sure it's good, and whatever you do, don't use a metal fork when you're doing it, okay? Now, we have one more. Now let's do that, shall we? Okay, one last quick recipe. This is that special weird fried omelet that I was talking about in my food diaries on Harper's Bazaar, which I make for my breakfast all the time. It's really simple. Heat two tablespoons of unsalted butter in a nonstick pan over medium heat, and as soon as that begins to bubble, and it's fully melted, crack in four whole eggs, let those cook just until the whites are set, hit it with some salt, then add a lid and let them cook for 30 more seconds just to take care of any extra uncooked egg white, but leave the yolks runny or you make a sad papa. Then simply add the cheese of your choice. We got some more cave age gruyere for the full culinary flex. Add that onto half of your omelet, optionally get it extra melted with a torch, snag your spatula, and fold that bad boy in half. Carefully, so you don't break your frickin' yolks either. And look, whether you like it or not, this is how I like to eat it. Pop it onto a plate, hit it with some hot sauce, maybe some black truffle if you have it on hand. Shout out to the homies at Regalus Foods for keeping me absolutely strapped with these baddies. Look in the bio if you want to check them out. Anyway, some fresh cracked black pepper, thinly sliced chives, get an egg to absolutely boss for you, and serve with a toast of your choice. This would also be great on a toasted croissant. Just side note, your breakfast game is forever changed. I don't want to eat anymore. I've eaten a lot today. All right. Please don't make me eat. <laughs> a lot of people are like, what the heck? A fried egg cheese omelet. That's genius. And it really is as straightforward as it sounds, as you can see. So it does have a little taste. I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's the best of both worlds. And if you're on a diet, you can make this macro friendly. You get the beautiful balance of the nice running egg yolks of a fried egg. Then you also get the cheesy pull and the eating experience of an omelet. What could you possibly want more than that? Eat it, serve it with toast. That is Papa's Omelet Guide. Finito! You want to know what else is full of tubes flowing with goopy yum yum? Yikes. B roll. <laughs>